Hi guys, it's Mosey Villain. We've got Mortimus here. This is the weekend preview for the Predictor League. What are you doing? For the Predictor League and for the fantasy football as well. It's cold this morning, so that's why we've got Morty uh, as our assistant here today. Um, but uh, good to also at the top, if you are yet to join the Predictor League here, there is a link in the description. Go and do that. We do have a new person uh, that has joined up this weekend. I'll introduce him in just, or them, I think it's a him, in just a second. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. But we've got to go, first of all, and acknowledge last round. Now, of course, it's a few weeks ago now. Now, come on, Morty, you got to be a good kitty. Um, last week's... Uh, Golden Cup winner, Rujasan, our defending champion. Look at that. Three and a half points clear of everybody. Uh, he is making his move up this table. Uh, we can see how everybody else did going down there. Gaz Monster picked up the wooden spoon this week. And this is our new man, uh, or new person, I should say, Stefan Vio. Uh, he, they, general nouns, uh, pronouns, I should say. They are, well, they're new this week. And welcome, very much welcome into uh, into the group. Um, a quick look at the leaderboard. You saw it there, but look at Rujistan, our uh, defending champion, making his move up this table. Wobby's Whites, though, is still top. Uh, two, and a point, two and a half points clear of you, Ash. Mac Volchi is two, and a, is two and a half points back as well. Craig T is up there. Rujistan, as I said, is making his move. And if we go all the way down, um, we can see how everybody is getting on there. Now, this brings us to this week's matches. Now, it's going to be a weird week, I think, with so much international football. Uh, I'm annoyed. I really, I think, played three times for England, which is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, but let's see what we've got here. Newcastle versus Chelsea. I don't think it matters how many times Chelsea plays. Um, I think they will comfortably beat Newcastle, won't they? So let's say 2-0. Aston Villa versus Brighton. I don't know what's going on with Villa this year. I like it but I don't know what's going on. Now, this is the sort of game I'd kind of expect us to lose, to be honest. So let's uh, try not to be too negative and say maybe 2-1. Um, yeah, even though Brighton aren't doing particularly well this year. Tottenham versus Manchester City. This is a good one, isn't it? Um, Jose versus Pep, of course. Um... I mean, City can't defend to keep a clean sheet, can they? But they're probably a little bit too good for Spurs, would we say? Although, again, so many international players coming back. Uh, you don't know how players are going to pull up. Manchester United versus West Brom. Um, as funny as it would be for West Brom to win at Old Trafford, it's not happening, is it? So we'll say 2-0 there. Fulham versus Everton. I mean, Fulham are showing some signs of life. Everton are falling off a cliff. They're doing what I was really worried Villa were going to do. Um... And Villa probably still will do it, to be fair. <laughs> but at least Everton fell first. Uh, so what do we say to this? Uh, they should be too good for Fulham, shouldn't they? They're still a good team. they still got good players. Sheffield United, what has happened? I feel bad for Sheffield United at this point. They were so good last year. Uh, West Ham have been shockingly good, actually. Um, surely this is the week, though. This is the week that Sheffield United get the 1-0 win, isn't it? Leicester, sorry, Leeds versus Arsenal. Um, I don't know how many Leeds players have been away. It's a sort of, so after an international break, you wonder if it's the sort of week where Leeds players could sort of come back a little bit tight and not be at their 100% best. Um, I'm going to say, I think they, no, I'm, I'm going to say 3-2, but I think maybe Leeds 3-2. We'll go with that. Uh, Liverpool versus Leicester. This is always a good game, isn't it? Um... And of course, Joe Gomez is out for Liverpool now as well. They've got some real problems at the back. Uh, and you know that Jamie Vardy is licking his lips. He's had two weeks off. He's raring to go. Um, I think Leicester might win that. They probably won't, but I think they might. Uh, Burnley versus... This is why I'm at the bottom of the table, isn't it? Burnley versus Crystal Palace. Burnley, again, they, look at them struggling. Um, Crystal Palace are a decent team. It'll be 1-0 to somebody, won't it? We'll go for Burnley. And Wolves versus Southampton. Southampton are a good side, I think, at this point, aren't they? We have to say that. Wolves have had players away in Europe. Molly News capacity is more than 28,500, isn't it? Surely. It's like, isn't it 40-odd thousand? Anyway. Um, let's say a 1-1. We'll say a 1-1. So those are my picks. Make sure you don't forget to go and do yours. Rouge Stand is raring to go. He's flying up the table. Um, yeah, but make sure everybody else remembers to do those. And that brings us to fantasy football. Quick look at the table. And of course, this is for Patreon. So there is a link in the description to my Patreon. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just sort of a little bit of a thank you for that, this competition. Uh, leading the way still is the Cobra Chickens, Dan Stefanovic. It led the way last week as well, so extended his lead. Uh, you can see Webby's White's in second, Volt GFC 
uh, Arnold's Barbarians, myself, uh, Bratty Lunar Squad, and we go on down uh, to the bottom there. And uh, well, it's as you were. I moved up one ahead of Bratty Lunar Squad. Pretty much, it's as you were, and it's still relatively close. Less than a hundred points between the first seven. Um, so you know, so early in the season, there's still a lot of time to chip away at that. So uh, it's a good competition this year. I'm excited to see how this plays out. If we have a look at the team that I'm going with, uh, I'm going to stick with Pope in goal against Burnley against Crystal Palace. We're going to put uh, Tarkovsky in our defence with Tierney and Alexander Arnold. Hopefully, will play. I do have Mac Doherty, who of course is um, coronavirus right now. He's only should be back in a couple of weeks, and to be honest, he wouldn't have played this week anyway against Manchester City, so I'm not too disappointed about that. My midfield clinch, Captain De Bruyne, Son and uh, Grealish. I'm really a little bit concerned how much Grealish has played for England. Morty, away from the mic, please, mate. Uh, but we'll keep faith with him. Watkins, Vardy, and Bamford up top. And you can see my bench there, Martinez, Alzate, who probably should play given that he's playing against Aston Villa, but I don't know where I'd squeeze him in. Um... And, of course, we've got Will Keane, a defender against um, Fulham. He could come. Well, he would come in for Alexander Arnold, wouldn't he? So that's maybe that's maybe fair enough. So anyway, that, that's my team for this week. Uh, as I said again, don't forget to go and submit your team. Now I'm not sure. Do we have a Friday game this week? Probably not, given international football. A quick reminder too: if you do miss the it's, no, it's a Saturday game. If you do miss the first kickoff with the Predictor League, you can still do the rest. It's not like fantasy football where it's like it's a shut off. As long as you put your score in, I'm not sure how far before uh, kickoff, but before kickoff. Um, you can miss one and, and still do the rest. So just a quick update, a reminder for that as well. But guys, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the international break. It's good to have Premier League football back. And hopefully, from my point of view, Villa will get up another three points. See you next week. Say bye, Mortimus.